Hello and welcome to the devotion for Thursday, November the 29th, entitled Sweating Blood. Now when we talk about stress, there is serious stress if I was sweating blood. Now, it's interesting because the Bible says that on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he went to the Garden of Gethsemane and he was so filled with anxiety about what was about to happen to him that as he prayed, he sweat, as it were, drops of blood. Now, when we talk about blood, sweat, and tears and putting all this in there, and you know, uh, we're, we're talking about what do we do when we're anxious? Well, what Jesus did was he prayed. In fact, he got alone where he could really be in the presence of God with stressful things. I'm telling you one of the greatest things we will ever do to relieve stress. We can exercise, and that's a great thing. We can meditate. It's a great thing. We can uh, you know, get great support systems. That's a great thing. All those things are important. But the one thing we cannot forget is I need to hear from my Heavenly Father. Jesus, with all that he had, being in the very image God, even though he had let go of the area that gave him God's strength and, and actually worked, as scripture says, he became like us so that he could become a merciful and faithful high priest. He took on not just our anatomy, he didn't just look like us, he took on our humanity. So he was as dependent on his father as every one of us and yet without sin. But he had to get away. In fact, in Luke 6, 12, it says, In those days, Jesus went out to the mountain to pray, and he spent all night in prayer to God. The next day, he picked the disciples, the ones that he would mentor to carry on the ministry after him. But he had to get away. He had to hear from God. That was an important decision, and he needed to hear from his Father. In fact, in Luke 15, 16, it says, Jesus often withdrew to lonely places to pray. And that word lonely means isolated. He got away from everything so he could really spend time in the presence of God. And then, of course, Luke twenty-two thirty-nine that I've already referenced. It says, Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives with his disciples following him. And on reaching the place, he said to him, pray that you will not fall into temptation. And then he withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, then take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. And an angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. It says that he had anxiety, but he knew where his hope was. He knew where his strength was. Jesus, if he needed to take time away to get isolated and pray, every one of us need to do it too. We've got to get to where we can really hear from the Lord. I found that I can't just throw up a two-minute or, I mean, a, a, a two- or thirty-second prayer and hope that things are going to go better. I've got to get quiet. I've got to get still. I've got to get away and just go, God, I need to hear your voice. I need to meditate. I need to spend some time. I need to pour out my heart and then just be quiet. Be in the presence of the Lord. Jesus didn't just go throw up a request and then head off and uh, get about the next day. It said that before he held the, selected the disciples, he spent all night. It said he often withdrew to quiet places, to solitary places, so that he could pray at the Garden of Gethsemane. So intense, so much anxiety, that he even sweat, as it were, drops of blood. And yet, in every time, he came out stronger, healthier, and more vibrant because he heard from his Heavenly Father. And Jesus said these words, I do what I see my Father in heaven doing. Whatever the Father says, that's what I'm doing. I want to get that place. I want to get to the place where I go, I know this is what God would have me do. I've spent that time. I'm not doing this out of panic or frustration or duress. I'm doing this because I've really spent time with the Lord and I believe this is what God wants me to do. 
when anxiety comes on that would cause you to sweat, as it were, drops of blood, prayer is the thing to do. So let's pray. Father, Lord, we need to hear you. And Father, uh, so many times we think prayer is us talking. And Lord, you said that we need to make our requests known. You said that we need to open up and pour out our heart. But Lord, I know you want to speak. You want to open our understanding. You want to make yourself known to us. And Father, to do that, we're going to have to get away. We're going to have to realize that part of that focus that anxiety brings, that uh, stress brings, that heightens our awareness should drive us to a place to where we get out of our routine to hear your voice. And Father, I pray that as we seek that, as we look, you said anyone that asks receives, anyone that seeks find, the one that knocks, the doors are open. So as we just get to a quiet place and take the time to let the machinery uh, all that thought process just whirling in our head to uh, screech down to a, a halt and be able to just be quiet and in your presence, that, Lord, you will, through uh, either a word of wisdom or a word of knowledge, through just a thought in our head, uh, Lord, that you will make us aware of what we need to do to walk in health and that, Lord, when we do that, we'll walk away stronger, knowing that you are with us. Do that work in and through us in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, guys, I encourage you, when you're so stressed, you're about to sweat drops of blood, prayer. It's the place to go. And I'll see you tomorrow.